Hello everyone. Welcome to the session on AP. So in our last session we have uh, completed our configuration on AP, different settings and development. We created master data, we created some invoices and then we learned how to pay the invoices uh, full payment. There are different methods of payment in SAP, uh, full payment, partial payment, residual payment. So today I will uh, a kind of uh, repetition. I will again post an invoice in SAP system and we will, I'll walk you through different methods of payment in SAP and after you post any invoice in SAP system, how and where you can check the invoice document balances and after the payment, we can see uh, different reports in order to see if the item is cleared and the balance is in the GL as well. So I, as I explained in the last session, red color means open item in SAP. There is a report FBL 3N where you can see your open items, how much you owe to your vendors. Vendors are nothing but the suppliers where you purchase your stuff. If you're a manufacturing company, you always need some sort of materials too make your finished products for example toyota company needs tires they don't manufacture tires they manufacture vehicles they need paint they need electric electronic devices from different companies gps may be from sharp tires may be from michelin right leather may be from a different company right so they need vendors all the time so how to post a vendor invoice F-43 and uh, a red color item is open and the green color means cleared items that we checked also in our last session FBL 1N right oh, I said earlier 3N not 1N so 3N FBL 3N is for the GL balance display so this is for vendor line this is our vendor that we created and if I want to see open items I have to check this radio button open items and it says no accounts fulfill the selection conditions means on this particular date we owe nothing right this is the 151 is our vendor right so if you see all items it will show all items that is our company right this is our vendor did we post any invoices? Yeah, this is, oh, our vendor is 600, not 151. Sorry, 600 and choose this open item and it will show no items, right? So I want to see all items on that particular date. Show me open and cleared item, also none. Cleared item, no, so on that particular date, no, right? If I remove this date, so there is no open items, right? I want to see all items. So this is only a single invoice we posted right remember in our last session we posted this invoice right and we posted on 718 if you choose 718 as your date then system will prompt that open item on that particular date show me the open items in this vendor under this company code so that was not 18, right? What did, date was that? Document date was 718. What was the posting date? Yeah, 718. Clearing was 718. That item is cleared now, right? That's why it's not showing. No items. But if you see cleared item, on that date 718 
this will show that vendor right clear item anyway so this is how you check the vendor line item so we will repeat sort of repetition we'll post one invoice f-43 when you purchase from your vendor after you receive the goods vendor will send you the invoice and that invoice you need to enter into SAP system that is purely data entry you have to enter that invoice into SAP system so we are entering the data into uh, the invoice into SAP system what is that called what code do we use to come over here f-43 f this is the so t code data entry for the invoice invoice right you purchase something from your vendor vendor will send you the invoice maybe with your goods or after you receive the goods maybe after two days three days depends how the vendor will send you the invoice it could be electronically it could be fax it could be in the mail or it could be with the goods right so you have to enter that invoice into sap system now let's say I receive document date right document date is the date of the invoice the date that is written on the invoice it could be anything it could be 21st right they dispatch you the invoice and you receive the invoice today right now you are posting into SAP system that is the posting date that is the period that is the company code that is the currency of the company and that is the default standard SAP document type for vendor invoice this is by default when you choose F-43 this will default as 31 posting key, which is the credit to vendor if you go 31 invoice credit debit or credit is C the account type is V like vendor so now you have to enter vendor here which is 600 in our case enter amount I'm gonna enter is 2500 business area for my company code 2222 is 2222 payment terms 001 SAP standard baseline date is 21st text is vendor invoice right now we will credit vendor and you will debit what you will receive something right that is uh, purchases or inventory right 40 would be your posting key which is for debit so now I will receive the inventory right press enter now you can enter 2500 here you can enter the business area double two double two you can repeat the text vendor invoice simulate before you post a balance should be zero debit and credit one is minus one is plus balance is zero system is showing two line item you can post the invoice system will issue a number which is 2101 you can from here you can display this document this is a document we just posted right 2500 now this item will show as open item meaning red color in FBL 1N which is T code for vendor line item display how much you owe to your vendors so today's date by come default will come this is a red color meaning this is due KR right so we have to pay right now you can also check the balance FS 10 and right different ways when you post a transaction financial posting in SAP system you can always check the balances you can check your balance of your inventory right supplies this will have a posting in seventh period which is 2500 this is the document you can go from here also you can view the document drill this is called drill down functionality right now now as we see we have an invoice item open we can pay the invoice f-53 is the t code to pay the invoice 
or you can go from the menu path as well it's very easy you can go from the front end easy access screen financial accounting accounts payable and you will see the payment right <clears throat> document entry outgoing payment f-53 so the document date is uh, my friend, uh, sir, you went through this process. The same thing is written in the guide uh, tutorial. The same way is written, same path is written. Right, right. Okay. Okay. You can go to through the T code as well, right? So bank account, right? 200, 100 is our bank account. Business area is double two, double two. Or you can, if you want, you can pay, I mean, enter the invoice header tax, uh, which is the payment. Right. And you can also repeat same thing, payment. And open item, open item selection means what is the vendor? Who is your vendor? Right. So make sure everything is filled in, amount. Now I am going to pay 2500 right? Now process open item, right? You have to enter a value field, value date, press open item. Now this is a payment screen, right? You see standard, partial, residual, without, right? Standard, by default system will take you to the standard tab. The balance should be zero. Now, as I said, I will repeat one transaction, one posting. I will do full payment. Right? So just simply save it. Right? Correct the mark line items. Right? So means you need uh, to have this uh, text as a required. Right? Save. Document was posted. Now. You can see from here itself display a document this is a payment document now if you go and check that vendor line item report I believe we should have vendor line item here in my favorites 600 now you can see cleared item for today system will show or you can see all items it will show both is cleared on that date 2500 is paid screen and you can also check that balance fs10 and right how to add a uh, one of the favorite mr bangish how you can add fs10 and here you can click right on this right click on this one on this one yeah, on this one, you or you can uh, drag this to the favorite folder. There is favorite folder. You can put it on the favorite folder. No, I, FS10N is a transaction code. I want to bring FS10N under this FI as my favorite. How I can do it? Tell me. FS10 and take the FS10 one and put it in the favorite favorite folder or click on FS10 one. Uh, yeah, yeah, go here. Okay, FS10N. Okay. Okay, what I do? You uh, do you add, uh, go to add the plus symbol, the blue, yeah, you need down, down, yeah. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Copy, copy, copy it, copy it. Uh, there is no copy button. No, you go and now you go to the favorite folder, friend, please. From where, from here? Yeah. From here, uh, click where? Click, click here, here, the arrow, arrow. Which arrow? This one? No, my friend, the bar menu, the search bar, yes. This one? Yes, sir. Okay, go. Uh, and second, and second, and yeah, and now you put in, so go to favorites, please. Mm -hmm. I'm in the favorites, F I. Now paste here. Paste where? But what? Yeah, plus uh, you uh, go up the star sign. Plus, yeah, yeah. star plus. Star yeah. plus super. Yes, yeah, plus. Yeah. Carry on. 
position on executive objective is in the menu three. Yeah. I, I, this was what I know. I okay, can. no problem. There are different ways you can add a favorite under your favorite folder. Uh, first is you can go itself here, go F5, right click, right, insert a transaction. System will ask you what transaction you want to add. You have to put FS 10 n and system will add this FS 10 in here. This is one of the way, right? Second way is you can go to FS 10 n add to favorites, uh, go to that transaction. Balances, right? Or you go to the account, then balances, right? FS10, and this is the transaction code, right? Right? And then click, select it, and add it. This is the second way. I will add uh, FBL03 display balances, right? Add, and it will come here, right? And then you can right click and you can change the favorite as well you can change the description the name right this is how you and you can right click also here i think from here you can also change the technical names right there are different ways and you can also go from here as well somewhere favorites yeah this one add okay anyway now so we see we cleared the invoice right item is green if your manager asks you hey mr bangish can you give me a report how much we owe to till date how much we owe to our vendors so you will go to fbl over then and you will select this open item means the amount we owe and date and select right right now we don't owe anybody right because we paid now the next is this is one of the method of payment which is a full payment now I want to pay half and half I want to pay a later point of time then you have to have some open invoice also right so we'll post one, one another invoice f-43 same steps you have to enter your vendor this time i will post two thousand dollars business area for this payment document is double two double two payment terms double zero zero one baseline date same date as today's date tax this is this is a vendor invoice inventory same two thousand business area is the same for the next line item text is the same vendor invoice for this line item just enter the value date and simulate the transaction balance should be zero document looks good post it you can also check the document we post a document from here and if you know the document number even if you don't know you can search going to FB03 this is to display any financial document this number last posted number will come by default this is the standard behavior of SAP system if this is not known to you go to document list and you should know maybe doc the vendor invoice document type is KR what date that document was posted which is today's date system will show any document posted on that date the two documents are posted so i believe we have second one which is two thousand dollar this in document this is how you navigate and display any document posted the second one is a report open item go to select open item its system will show this two thousand as a red item so we have to pay this right now we will go to payment transaction which is f-53 we will enter the document date 
KZ is the document type for vendor payment. Don't need to enter any other thing. Just bank details. What bank GL you need to enter as a credit and then open item which is your vendor process go to enter the text which is the vendor payment right uh, we can enter partial payment right business area for this payment is double to double to value date is the same date you can go to process open item amount is zero or oh, we have to enter the document uh, the amount right so you what amount you are posting we are let's say 1000 right okay. so no it's half right let's say we are posting 1250 right enter now look this by default it will go to standard you have to go to portion now the system is telling you proposing you amount entered 1250 your amount entered is the amount you are paying but the amount you owe is 2000 so there is a difference of 750 so you see his payment amount it says 2000 double click it and it will change that amount to 1250 and that amount will become 1250 and the doc document is balanced amount due is 2000 I'm paying 1250 now system will do what 750 right you still owe first you pay this So when it's green, you have to enter the value date, assignment field, everything is okay, right? Now post it. Document was posted, right? Now let's see the document. Display. This is the document which is posted with 1250. Now let's see the FBL 1 and report. Let me delete this. Now, FS, I mean, sorry, FBL one and vendor line items. Now, let's see. Very important both line items are showing as red items even though we paid 1250 but system still showing 2000 and 1250 so this is a standard behavior of sap system when you pay the invoice using partial payment system will not clear the initial invoice amount until you pay the amount in full meaning when you once you will pay this 750 a balance system will make these two lines as green and then you it will show as a open item both for tracking purpose right so now let's see we will pay 750 again and then these items will become green this 2000 will also we were green and 1250 and all those things right let's go and post a payment f-53 enter 750 200 100 600 business area double to double to tax partial payment value date Now it says 750 is a balance, right? Okay, so we have partial payment, right? So we have uh, two open items, right?
oh we have to enter the amount right what amount I'm paying seven fifty right six hundred partial payment Account six hundred now this is showing 750 right go to partial payment I mean you can you can do whatever standard up because this is not the partial this is a standard right 750 you paying full just save it document is save now let's see FBL 1 and report go to no open item right if you go all items it will show 750 green 1250 green and 2000 green that's a vendor number right so this is how you post a partial payment in partial payment method system will not clear the initial invoice amount until unless you pay the remaining partial balance understood now there is a, another method of payment which is called residual payment method for that we need to post one another invoice also go to f-43 post one more invoice enter your vendor number three thousand dollar invoice right now this is vendor invoice we will purchase some stock 3000 business area again double two double two you can enter double three double three as well they're at a client level any company code can use any business area vendor invoice value date is a date when you use 722 right uh, this is the the number of value date is a date uh, to the two dates a right? baseline date and value date value date is used when mostly it's used for the bank accounts but if you don't use it I don't think so it's a required field right so balance document is balanced so we post the vendor invoice now we have invoice you will see this invoice as a red color under open items so this is the invoice right this is due now we'll pay this invoice using residual payment method under residual payment method system will clear the original invoice of 3000 and the remaining balance system will create another invoice in the system f-53 post outgoing payment enter today's date enter the amount let's say out of three thousand dollars I am paying two thousand dollars right business area for this payment is double two double two value date is today's date 600 is our open item selection meaning the vendor account and you can enter this residual payment now system is showing you enter 2000 you owe 3000 1000 is the balance you have to go residual items right double click this will balance the document 1000 will be residual 3000 is a total amount in wise 2000 we are paying save it system will save it oh you have to enter that text So system will create another invoice for thousand dollar. Now we'll see our vendor line item report again. Go
go to fi folder where our favorites are go to fbl1n go to all item on this date so now you see two thousand dollar out of two thousand i mean three thousand total invoice was three thousand right system has cleared this three thousand and the remaining balance system has created another invoice for one thousand understood in partial payment method system will not clear the total amount invoice amount right until unless you pay the full amount but in residual whatever you pay will system will clear the total amount of invoice but balance amount system will create another invoice and then you can always post that uh, remaining balance using f dash 53 a normal via standard payment right so you you enter 1000 business area is double to double to for this payment 600 is the number for our vendor this is a full payment final payment right you can enter as final payment right because it's a bank account you have to give the value date go to process open item system is showing only one item you can post system has posted date you will see from the invoice date right payment I get to scoop a date hogi na yeah 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 of course you yeah, yeah every time you give your own IDs right the practice so now you will see all item it will show as a clear 1000 is clear right this is how you make different types of payment in SAP system using accounts payable sub module any question so far no question. question is practice, practice, practice right that is true now the partial payment or the jo standard standard to someone now your partial or this next one with your virtual in the same cheese to have they can Lekin wo right 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 I will right I will explain yeah so now the difference between uh, the, the the partial and residual is residual. yeah resi residual mean remaining right so now let's say you owe me thousand dollars right mm now i said okay i will pay uh, now 300 dollars and uh, next month i will pay 700 dollars mm. so how you want to see that invoice behavior in sap system for for control perspective you want to see uh, okay you pay 300 now just uh, clear that 300 and remaining 700 i want to see only 700 dollar as open item meaning you owe me 700 now hmm. right but there is another company that uh, has a different uh, you know requirement they want to see okay you know what even if you pay us the partial right i want in my system the the total amount that you owe also in our reports as open item like thousand dollar i want to see thousand also and i want to hmm. see to see the open as well 300 as also so I, I can compare for my analysis which is uh, I don't know uh, it doesn't make sense right you just whatever you pay should reduce and then new invoice system should invite create a new invoice that's uh, what I think right but companies mm. uh, they have different requirements so there are two different ways rest I mean the postings and all those is the same but in reports you can see in one method both invoice mm. and the partial payment as open item mm. you don't want to clear that invoice total 
until you receive the final full payment right so and in the residual payment method you only see a difference as a new invoice system will create a new invoice automatically so from onward you can only see oh this guy owe me only this remaining balance i think so that is the easiest right there's two different ways uh, you can handle uh, payments in sap system this is all the details and i showed uh, you know how you can see different reports right mm -hmm. the balance red color right all these things mm -hmm. right this is residual these are different reports Uh, there is one report due date analysis right uh, in sap system this report is available due date analysis right due, what is the due date analysis due date analysis uh, will tell you the snapshot right what invoices are due right so in this example you have a vendor invoice we create f-43 right so invoice created on this date right and this is the the transaction the entry right raw material will debit and vendor will credit when you create the invoice right now now outgoing payment you are making a payment on 18th right mm. so you you made a residual payment right so 1 lakh was the amount and you paid 60000 now 40000 is your balance right mm. now 40000 is the balance and now if you run this due date analysis right so the num what is the baseline date this is the number of days in arrear right so now as you made the payment so you had 35 days right but now as you made this payment after this what 10 days how many days 8 8 days right so 8 days will be reduced from your total invoice cuz once once you pay the once you enter the invoice based on the payment terms system will show you the due date right that what is the purpose of using payment terms in sap right so payment terms when you post an invoice there is a field called payment terms the payment terms field will decide when you will when this invoice will be due for payment 